See Nikki Clips is polar coat six rated. She can go deep into the ice. She's got the endurance, the strength, the power to just really get to all of these remote places. The ship itself was one of the first vessels ever to be constructed to the new polar code rules. The entire design of the ship is purpose built to navigate in the ice in extreme Arctic and Antarctic environments. The Arctic is a polar region, so a traditional large cruise ship is not allowed to go anywhere near the ice. One of the things I love most about the scenic eclipse is the incredible technology. She has dynamic positioning. This is technology that harnesses GPS and the ship's incredibly powerful Azipod propulsion system and bow thrusters to be able to maintain a position within a few meters of the requested position, even in 30, 40 knots of wind. So this is an incredibly powerful tool for us. It allows us to safely offload our guests when they're using Zodiac boats and also when we're launching and recovering helicopters and submarines. There's no need to drop a huge heavy anchor on the seabed. She's also fully safe return to port compliant. The, the technology really augments the experience. And the great thing about the technology, the guests don't even realize how good it is uh, because it's working quietly in the background. Our huge oversized zero speed stabilizers will mean that their gin and tonics are not getting spilt in the evening. They won't realize that there's every single cabin has two independent air conditioning systems that allow us to control the temperature to within a half a degree. One of my favorite things to do in the Arctic is to go to the Arctic ice edge itself, which is where you literally sail north until you hit the ice and then you get to the point where you could disembark from the ship and potentially walk to the North Pole. Unlike the vast majority of ships on board the scenic eclipse, if you're underway and you're interested to see what's going on on the bridge, you can simply go up to the bridge and interact with the captain, with the staff captain or the deck officers. We want our guests to feel really part of the experience. The Northwest Passage is a really unique waterway and it is not that easy to traverse. One of the reasons that it's so difficult to traverse is that it's covered in ice for the vast majority of the year. So you're not going to want to take the risk of trying to navigate the Northwest Passage unless you have a ship that's really strong enough to do it, a ship that has ice capabilities, that even if the passage is partially closed, that you've got the strength and the power to actually push through these ice-covered regions. The absolute vast majority of ships in the world are just not equipped to deal with that level of ice.